Greetings, I'd like to show you how to use the WordPress Profit System plugin. Log right into your dashboard after you get your plugin installed. Go to your WordPress Profit System. And the first thing you want to do is go over to your account information here. And you need to set up the actual information here. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and fill all this out. You need to put your PayPal email in there. Now, your authorization code, you should use something, you know, use something strong, like maybe eight digits or something like that. doesn't have to be anything you know, fancy, but um, make you an actual code there that's unique. Just pick one out of the sky and that'll be fine. And your authorization code here, I want to point out, should be your actual uh, ClickBank secret key if you're going to use ClickBank, okay? Now, if you're just going to use PayPal, go ahead and just fill in the top line here and do not worry about ClickBank or eJunkie, okay? Uh, just fill in whichever one you're going to use. Again, you'd put your, I think that's like a five-digit ID there. Your support name could be your name, your company name, your support email that you want to use, and when do you want the download page to expire? 120 hours, or you know, you want to make it a little bit shorter, it's totally up to you. If you will read the PDF manual, you can override some of these settings, but uh, it's simple just to do them here and set it up. 120 hours is a lot of time. Okay, now, primary key here. You can uh, do something at least eight digits long. I mean, it can be something random, okay? You know, it doesn't really have to be anything special, just something random. Okay, now what happens here on your links expire? Now, after the page sits there for 300 seconds, the actual link's going to expire, and someone, actually, I'm talking about the download page, the link will expire and once they refresh the page it starts over again at 300 seconds and just a little extra security measure now this information right here your download directory it should already be filled in for you okay I didn't put that in there it actually looks it up for you and finds this information within your WP content which is where your uploads your plugins everything's at put a folder in there and call it whatever you would like to be called it can be called any name that you desire okay as are all caps just remember if you do it in all caps then you should name your directory in all caps so whatever the case may be name it whatever you would like but it needs to be in here just like this okay now there is an actual file included in the download uh, blank htxs file so but the thing is you got to remember that if we put a dot on uh, front of it while it's on your computer system a lot of times it'll disappear it won't be shown it'll be considered a hidden file so you need to upload your actual htxs file and there's instructions in the pdf and rename it to dot htxs okay but before you do that you need to put this information in it and it goes in this directory okay and what that does it just got you a little extra protection all right, now what you do there, of course, is save and make sure you've got all your information in here. Once that's done, you can start adding products. Go to your products tab, add new product, and you'll start adding your product. And all your product ID is, of course, just choose you a unique a product ID. Need to be able to type there for you. your product it doesn't matter okay and here you just want to put some simple information about your product the description 